name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Christ is in our midst. Amen. As you know, this past Friday was the conclusion of Great Lent. We ended our Lenten preparation as we continue on. And as we continue, we ended our Great Lent, we now turn attention from our own sinfulness we turn our attention from our Lenten discipline and our work. And we now focus on the passion of our Lord. We turn our attention to this great mystery that lays before us. In which we walk with Christ through various different things. We see Christ on Monday cursing the withered fig tree. On Wednesday, we see Christ being anointed. We were with Christ when he's anointed by the woman. And Judas gets very jealous, saying, as we read in today's gospel, why isn't this ointment been sold and given the money given to the poor? But we see that Judas becomes jealous of Christ or afraid of Christ. And that night, Jesus' friend, Jesus' disciple, betrays him for 30 pieces of silver. In the morning of Thursday, Holy Thursday, Jesus invites us into that upper room to celebrate that intimate meal with his disciples when he takes the most basic of elements, bread and wine, and says, this is my body and this is my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. The institution of the most beautiful sacrament that we have, the reception of the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ in the Holy Eucharist. Holy Thursday evening, Jesus invites us to the garden to pray with him but an hour. But like the disciples, we're weary, we're tired, we're burdened by our earthly cares, and we can't keep our eyes open. We read in very detailed extraction of all those accounts on Thursday evening. On Good Friday, we stand and we mourn before the cross of our Lord. Try to just to just even wrap our heads around the jealousy that hung him upon that cross. As we see in the readings for this weekend that the Pharisees and scribes and say, unless we do something about it, the whole world is going to follow after him. And that jealousy and that rage boils up with them. And Holy Thursday evening, Jesus is arrested. And Good Friday, we stand before his cross. And we mourn. On Holy Thursday, on Holy Saturday morning, we stand in wonder at the tomb of our Lord, missing him, knowing that he's not with us, but yet somehow we have that expectant hope that on the third day, as he promises, he will rise again in the resurrection, bringing with us, as we see in the, res in the, in the resurrection icon, raising Adam and Eve with himself, that we know that he takes, he brings us with him in that moment. But in the Holy Saturday, what we don't see is that he goes down to Hades, the place of the death, and he announces the resurrection to those who have fallen asleep before him, to those who lay in that grayness of that brightness of Hades, of Sheol. And God brings to them, our Lord brings to them the message of hope, the message of resurrection. But today and yesterday, we get a little break a pre-festal interlude, as it were, between the heaviness of Great Lent and the seriousness and the solemnity of the Passion Week. We see the raising of Lazarus yesterday when Jesus come to raise his best friend from the dead, Lazarus, as the Gospels say, he whom he loved. He who wept at that tomb. It's the shortest sentence in the, in the Gospel. Jesus wept. But it means in Greek, the moaning from the very core of our being a deep and profound mourning. But yet, he stands up. As a human, he cries. But as God, he stands up and cries, Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus is risen. And so, all those that witness that, all those that see that, follow Jesus from Bethany to Jerusalem. And they, the children are excited about what they see, and the people are excited. And they lay down branches, they wave branches, lay down their coats as Jesus rides on a small donkey into town, and they cry, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And today we share in that joyous exchange as well with our Lord. 
Blessed is he. Blessed are you, O Lord, who come in the name of God the Father. Today, brothers and sisters, let us take not palms or branches to wave or our cloaks to lay down on the ground, but lay down our sins, lay down our earthly cares, lay down everything about ourselves that, have, that blocks our vision of God to give to him and say, Lord, I completely surrender to you. Blessed are you. Blessed is my life because you have given me my life. Blessed are you because you give me my resurrection. Blessed are you because you invite me to the kingdom of God. Let us lay aside all those earthly cares. Let us put aside our heaviness and give that to the Lord so that he can trample on it just as he trampled on death. That he can trample <coughs> on our fallen nature. He can trample on our sinfulness. <coughs> and ultimately allow us to ride with him in glory. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is in our midst. Yeah.